Hey, this is Professor Wise Guy coming at you with another five minute fix. Right now though, I'm, I'm struggling with this clamp. You know, clamps are really useful when you want to put things together, but not necessarily keep them together forever. Sometimes I use clamps to hold things in place until I can get them fastened permanently, or I might use it to hold something for a few minutes. Shockingly, today's subject is kind of like a clamp. That subject is the hyphen. The first thing I need to say about hyphens is that, contrary to common belief, hyphens are not the same as dashes. I'll do a five minute fix soon about dashes, but let's just be clear that hyphens aren't dashes. They don't even look the same. On your keyboard at the right end of the numerals, you'll find the hyphen just to the right of the zero. Hyphens, like clamps, put things together that don't naturally go together. That's basically it. A hyphen tells me to look at whatever is hyphenated as a joined up unit rather than its constituent parts. Are you struggling with that like I was with the clamp? Hopefully some examples will help. One common use for hyphens is what we call multi-word adjectives. They're just what they sound like. They're multiple words that work together as a single clamped up adjective. In fact, what I just said contains an example. A clamped up adjective? What is a clamped adjective? And even more baffling, what is an up adjective? But you see those two words that look like two separate words, they need to be clamped together with a hyphen to make a clamped up adjective. Or maybe I'm talking about a person, like my 16 year old pizza baking neighbor. Do I have 16 neighbors who are all a year old or what? Clamp things up and they're a little more clear. My 16 year old pizza baking neighbor. You see, he's 16 years old and he works at Little Caesars. So hopefully those hyphens provide some clarity. Basically, there are just two adjectives here. One about his age, one about his work, but we have two groups and a total of five words to make up those two adjectives. Other examples might be a finger pinching clamp, a 24 inch clamp, or clamp dependent furniture. Like it's falling apart. That's the multi-word adjective. We also need hyphens with numbers, mostly numbers from 21 to 99, such as 37, 94, those are two of my favorites. Why? I'll give you an example in a second, but I could just say, because that's what we do. And basically, it's the same as the others. We're not talking about two separate numbers, 30 and seven. It's those numbers together, 37. And yes, I know 30 plus seven equals 37, but let's not bring math into this thing, okay? Oh, and this also applies to bigger numbers that include one of those, like, uh, 137 or 1 million and 37. Now, what if I say Alex skated between 55 gallon barrels? How many barrels are there and how big is each one? Is it 50 barrels that are each five gallons or 55 of them and they each hold a gallon? Or is it some unknown number of barrels that hold 55 gallons? We can only know that when the hyphens show up. Alex skated between 50 five gallon barrels. Now, he's in the middle of 50 barrels that are five gallons each, and we understand. If you were paying attention, you might notice that these numbers are usually adjectives, but we also sometimes have groups of words like a three-year-old, which is used as a noun. Like the three-year-old operates my clamps better than me. One other way that hyphens are used is when we clamp together a couple of words to provide something that doesn't exactly exist. For example, what if this clamp tightens itself? Is there a word that means that? Something that tightens itself? No, but we can clamp two words together to talk about this self-tightening clamp. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> now I need a quick releasing version. You'll find some words that were in this category and then they graduated. For example, when email first came along, we had the word mail and the prefix e to create email. After a while though, we decided that this was a permanent word and the hyphen sort of fell away. Now we just talk about email. So what's our takeaway when it comes to hyphen? What do we need to watch out for? Watch out for numbers between 21 and 99. 
Watch out for adjectives that are composed of multiple words. On other compound words, you can cheat by looking them up. Unfortunately, hyphens can still be a little tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. If not, just clamp these rules to yourself. But for right now, consider subscribing. Ring the bell. Give me a thumbs up without the clamp on it. Okay? Okay.